me tell you another thing. And I'm not going to crow about it too much today. I talked about it yesterday, but when Bitcoin was above 60,000, I tried to explain to everybody, it's not going to 100,000 like Tom Lee's talking about, okay? That guy's talking his book. It's not going to go. Do you remember that day we had a conversation? I said, there are guys now on the, on Twitter that are legitimate portfolio managers that are putting out reports and making comments and talking to anybody who will listen that Bitcoin's going to $2 million of Bitcoin. I mean, if that's not a top, I told you that then. I said, that's not a top. I mean, you'll never see a more clear top when a guy who owns way too much of an asset, probably on margin, starts telling everybody else it's going to 2 million and it's trading at 60,000, you, you know the person's desperate, right? Now we have, and I went over this yesterday, so I'm not going to go over it again, but now we have one of those cryptocurrency banks that are basically there's a run on the bank and they're not letting people take money out. So in case you were wondering, why am I bringing it up now? Micro strategy, you know, I keep harping, I keep harping on this, but I think it bears, it bears discussing. Okay, there's micro strategy. And so in case you're wondering where I am on, on this discussion, because this morning, Michael Saylor comes out, CEO of MicroStrategy. There's no margin call, right? He's telling you there's no margin call. He told you there's a mar 21,000. That's going to be the margin call. Now we're below 21,000. Now there's no margin call, right? So then the tap dancing starts. This is classic, classic behavior. Okay. And there's analysts that come out, oh, there won't be a margin call now. Uh, there's more than enough collateral. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. The sharks are circling. They smelled the blood in the water over a month ago. When I said to you guys, when Bitcoin was above 30,000, I said, it's going to go to 21,000 because it's going to hit the pain point. Now it's going to go below 21,000 and the tap dancing starts. Analysts start, you know, and who knows, they're paid analysts of MicroStrategy, probably, probably they're the analysts that help MicroStrategy float bonds, right, debt, so they could buy a whole bunch more Bitcoin at an average price of over 30000 right? So now they got a billion dollars worth of losses. They're just paper losses, right? Then they start telling you that, oh, they're just paper losses, right? But they were happy to tell you there were a billion dollars in the, in the green, those weren't paper <laughs> paper gains, right? Oh, Michael Saylor was everywhere on the internet talking about how great he was because you know he had a billion dollars worth of profits in his Bitcoin position. But now he's got a billion dollars worth of losses and it's just paper losses. Don't worry about it. But this is like following every other bubble asset collapse that I've ever witnessed or read about. Bitcoin's probably going below 10,000. There, I just said it. So I was saying to you the other day, on my trip, we went to Titusville with the boat, got an Uber to take us to dinner. And the Uber driver's asking me about crypto. Number one, we know crypto's going lower because the Uber driver's asking me about crypto, right? Crypto will bottom when no Uber driver asks me about it. They, they don't want to talk about it, right? They don't want to say a word about it. That's when it'll bottom. That's the research I'm going to do with you guys. I'm going to share it. I'm going to, I'm going to go on trips. I'm going, to, I'm going to not even go on trips. I'm just going to take Ubers around Jupiter. You know, and when I finally take an Uber and the person doesn't ask me about crypto, that's when I'm going to come on this show in the morning and say, guys, it's time to start buying Bitcoin. <laughs> because no one's asking about it anymore. It's probably going below $10,000 of Bitcoin. Number one, because it has to wipe out Michael Saylor. That's my opinion. I've been saying it for a while. I'm going to keep saying it. And the tap dancing he's doing now just proves the point to me, to me. But it also has to wipe out, unfortunately, all of those poor souls who thought they understood um, capital markets. And really, they were just piggybacking on Fed largesse, and they didn't understand it. And so what they did was they became millionaires, and they're going to lose all of the money. They have no risk management rules. They pretend that they're going to hold on for dear life, and they're going to get wiped out. 
when that happens, then there will be some gems in the crypto space. And I'm probably going to start buying it. You know, but my guess is it's got to go probably below 10,000. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just making up numbers now. I knew it would go back to 21,000 because that's the pain point. Now the tap dancing starts and it goes below 21,000, right? Then Sailor gets the margin call. So why do I say it's going to go below 10,000? At some point in here, there's going to be a margin call. Then what does he do? He sells Bitcoin into a vacuum. Who's going to buy it? I'll tell you who. Other sharks other billionaires who are going to put him out of business and collect his Bitcoin under 10,000. They'll say, sure, we'll buy your Bitcoin right down here. <laughs> Give it to us. Give it to us right here where you can collect the capital and go pay off your loan and not go bankrupt. That would be somebody saving him. Typically, these situations end in bankruptcy. 